Gidget went and picked up some cabinets just so we would get a little bit better idea of where our stuff is going to be because since I'm no expert at I don't know what the standard of anything is so um, it's going to be easier for me to kind of visualize the electrical if she kind of lays out some of the some of this business so uh, she's doing that and I'm currently working on the door so fixing to get this door put up be able to lock this place up then we can start putting all of our wiring business in here and uh, be good to go so yep let's get to work this side a little bit. changing this is this going to be an 18 inch cabinet no matter what goes here yeah i would think so <laughs> there ain't no we there ain't no i would think so it's this is the end so okay that's good yep that's good uh Stone. yeah yeah uh probably um Oh, I don't think it really matters. We're splitting the difference. So whatever side, just uh, 50 A stove. Yeah, I mean, I, you can't you can't put them behind there because they're not not. If if that were to change to this, we have to put one there. And and I really need to know that now before I start running wire. So what's your thoughts on, on that? Well, I was still, I was just on the fence about it being so far over, but I mean. How, you don't know how deep that fridge is, do you? 36. It's 36 inch? Mm -hmm. It's funny because as, as good as this seems on paper, you put it in here and you're like, that don't look right. Well, because you're only going to be able to open it up this far. Yeah. Because the fridge is going to be there. Yeah. I mean, the fridge will open. I mean, if you put that down there on that wall, it's only going to open that much too. But you're coming at it from this way. Yeah, I agree. You don't have a wall that's going to... Yeah, I, honestly, I think you should put... I think you should move that down there and put one of these there. As much as I like that idea on paper, it, it's, it's still not right. It wouldn't be bad 
if you could open it this way. No. The fridge would still be here, yeah. but, you're, but I think it's you're, more open. Still. I think your idea that if, you're, if, if it's down there, it's unobstructed because it's the same depth as everything else seems way more reasonable, even if it did open up against a wall. It just seems more reasonable because here you have this on this side and the fridge out here, this thing's in a cubby that is kind of weird. What I'm afraid of is, what I'm afraid of is having something shorter there with the fridge there, is it, is it gonna look funny? I think this is gonna look weirder with this here in that cubby hole. I don't think weirder is the word. Weirder, wielder. It's gonna look really wheeled. It's gonna look really wheeled. If you put this here and you put the wall outlet here, the wall outlet is gonna be about right here on this box. And then you're gonna have the refrigerator right next to it. If you move it over to that wall, your outlet's gonna be over here in the corner on this side of this box, which is gonna have a countertop on it. So really, it's personal preference. It's what's up to you. It's it's up to you. <clears throat> and how wide are these apart? 16 inches. The center, center of this to the center of this is 16 inches. Center and center. Okay. So. So that's more than four feet. That's five feet. So let that go. Let me look at this. Yeah, it's got to be there because that keeps it four feet from this one. And that one's four feet from this one. So it's got, yep, it's gotta be there. This side or that side? This, you're, you're the this left side. side. Yeah, it's gotta be on the left side or run into the fridge possibly. What is it called? GFCIWO. Good morning, everyone. Uh, we're already hard at it this morning. Uh, had to go uh, shopping again pretty much every day. Every, every day we have to go get stuff uh, because we're, and you know, when you don't know kind of what's coming next it's hard to it's hard to propose what you're going to need exactly when you need it so we've been doing we've been doing whatever but zach is uh zach's cutting some wood to start building walls for a pantry i'm going to start working on this final cabinet we've got here and get it out so he's got a hard number over there and then uh i think it's on to wiring for me unfortunately uh i uh you know, I don't know what my problem is. I think maybe my, my, my hands are too far away from my brain. That's what the problem is. My brain didn't tell my hands. Well, my brain told my hands to go get the wire, but it only made it down to my elbow before I was already gone. So that's my problem is my hands are too far away from my brain. And then I, I, I forget everything. So uh, get just actually going to have to run all the way up here today and bring me wire. So. Zach's working on walls. I'm gonna start working on wire. You guys will see that. Let's go, let's get to work. Oh, you can go ahead and flip that around. Oh, not, can't really because. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. Welcome back today. Uh, 
I didn't uh, kind of wrap anything up yesterday. I knew we were going to continue this on. So uh, it was just really overcast and dark in here yesterday, so it was kind of hard to to uh, do any filming. But we're, we're trying our hand at getting some wiring done. Uh, we've got some boxes in. We do have some run. We've got... Uh, this morning, we are working on this door because we went and got some some uh, pieces of planking and essentially what we're doing right now is is that we're eventually um, this wall is going to be finished like this so what we're doing is we're making some finding the angles making some cuts and we're going to set this door up where this thing's going to kind of end up like this right here and uh, we're going to go ahead and get this door roughed in, get it mounted, and, uh, and then Zach can work on that while I'm continuing on with uh, some wiring stuff. So. And it's so nice to be able to work inside and leave your tools here and not have to, uh, not have to pick your stuff up every single day. All the tools, all the whatever it is you're working on that day, all the lumber and everything. So, uh, yeah. We're uh, we're gonna get to work. Nice. Let me see. Yeah. That's... I like that. Yeah, check it out. It's not perfection, but I want to be honest with you. That's damn, the, the, damn near. Having to shim one side of the door, mm -hmm. it messes everything up. Mm -hmm. But if you didn't, it was messed up too. Yeah. It's like six of one, half dozen of the other. So do you want to you want to pile in a bunch of shims and screws like we did the? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna put uh, two. I'm gonna put I'll put maybe two down here and one in here until mm -hmm. we run out of shims. I don't know. <laughs> what do you think? 
It's only stupid if it doesn't work. It's only stupid if it don't work. <laughs> Yeah, I'd say that works. Zach's working on the our last wall here that we couldn't build because of our tub we had to make sure everything measured out properly so Zach's working on that right now we'll come back and check on him when he gets that thing in and the the kitchen outlets are in I got to get a 50 amp outlet for the uh, stove fridge outlets in um, I have everything is uh, Everything's drilled over here. I'm gonna start running the wire. I got a couple boxes I gotta put in. Uh, Zach is, Zach's working on some lighting stuff. He's got, got this guy in. He's putting these two in right now. So he's pretty much done with that. We got, got some wire to run over here too. So we're gonna. All right, y'all, we're going to wrap this video up. Uh, I think I probably got enough on here. Uh, got a little bit of wiring done today. Zach actually cleaned a bunch in here. He made a little storage up there, threw some boxes in it. Uh, he uh, loaded the uh, back room here with a bunch of stuff just to get it out of our way. Stacked wood. Um, Zach got this wall built today got that done got uh some lighting controllers exhaust fans run in right here uh oh we didn't put the uh lighting controllers in here but we'll do that tomorrow so that's it guys thanks for checking this out we appreciate it uh we'll be back tomorrow looks like we're gonna have uh maybe a po possibly three days of rain uh, the good news is, is that we're inside, so we can work. Um, won't have to uh, worry about dodging raindrops outside. So uh, we'll be back. We'll get with it tomorrow. Keeping it substandard. You'll have a great night. I know we will.